go with that. Now is it recording? Okay. Let's do this again. So I'm deep in the woods here in Northern California, Marin County. I won't tell you anymore because these are my secret spots. And mushroom hunters never give away their their space, their locations, their magic locations. Um, this is an example, and I see this fairly often, of a the animal medicinal use of Amanita muscaria, where an animal comes and takes a bite, or this looks like it either could have been a uh, rongeur, a um, something that you know, like um, a large rat or a raccoon or an opossum, or it could be uh, a deer as well. It's hard to tell, really. I'm not an expert at these things. But I see this fairly often, and uh, what I think it is, is animals are wise enough to use antiparasitics. Um, there's plenty of parasites in nature. Um, there's a growing evidence that cancer is a parasite, and it's actually not your cells out of control, but your, and people know this, it's, a, it's related to virus and bacteria and the fungus uh, Candida albicans. So uh, animals, knowing that they're surrounded by parasites and having seen people die from and they, I think they just feel them more than we do. I think we're afraid of our connection to nature, so we don't really see the really bad guys uh, very clearly, and we start... What humans tend to do is they start scapegoating other people instead of realizing what's really going on, which is that they have an internal parasite. And we know that internal parasites in nature can infect all parts of the body and even the brain. So the brain can be affected by viruses, bacteria, um, and fungal encroachment, which can, make, which, which can change your thinking and make you depressed, make you suicidal, all sorts of things. You, ha you have to act in some way or other, either with a mushroom like this or with some other antibiotic of your choosing. There's literally thousands in nature. Plants, herbs, herbs being one of the, the most commonly used and safest. And this is, in a sense, an herb. It is a mushroom, so it freaks certain people out. But the truth of the matter is, apart from a few rare exceptions, forest mushrooms are inherently medicinal for humans. They are the second um, immune system of trees, and they also can act as a second immune system of humans. Because what they're feeding on is dead matter. Um, they're they're the ones who are who are who are basically the chemists of the soil and and bringing everything back into its right place. They basically save us because we've been we've been poisoning the earth for many years now with industrialization. It could be a lot worse if it weren't for mushrooms who are re who are transforming these poisons these toxins into safer uh, more base um, matter. So here you go, uh, proof of, uh, or in my eyes anyway, great evidence of the medicinal use uh, by animals of Amanita muscaria, probably for uh, internal parasites.